YouTube, how are you? Dora here, nice to see you. Um, I'm sorry I've not been around for, it's probably a week, isn't it? Since I've done a vlog. Um, did you see me in the hen house the other night, Thursday night, on Irish Dragon Lady's stream on her channel? I am one of the hens, so... Um, if you missed it, it's still up on her channel. I've got no idea how to get it onto my channel because I'm completely baffled by it. Um, I can't share it. Um, I can copy the link, um, which I think I did, popped it on Twitter. So it's up on my Twitter account, which is the same as, as this account, which is at Dory1975, which is, of course, the best year ever because the year I was born um, so I've had a birthday since I last saw you I think what did I see you after that my memory of pants at the minute having quite a few um, fibro attacks and memories going like so lots of fibro fog going on so I'm a bit ugh. Um, I got my sexy finally finally got my uh, ankle support for my poorly ankle that's got something really, really technically wrong with it, um, which I injured 13 months ago. <clears throat> Over 13 months ago, actually. I've got a hair somewhere, I can see it. I think I've got it. Um, so yeah, I've got that, so I've got to build up the wear. So yesterday I wore it for an hour, so today it's two hours, tomorrow three hours, and so on. Um, so yeah, I've got that to wear. It's really funky, actually. The, the choice was the one I've got, which is like, um, do you remember um, who did it? I don't know whether it was Nike Air Max where you pumped up the like the toe part on the shoe and it went tighter and then it like expanded oh my god it's like that so you like twist it and twist it and twist it and twist it and it goes tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and then you just like pull the little dial to release it and it just goes <laughs> it doesn't make a noise but it just like it releases so that's what it reminds me of so I'm showing my age now I can't remember what they were called but there you go I don't know if it's Nike or whether it was Reebok but somebody did some sort of explosive trainer um, back in the day so how have you lot been? have you all been with you? anybody had anything horrible happen with their fibro or any chronic pain going on we've had really damp cold damp weather here so that's really affected my osteoarthritis and all of my oh i said to mr dora yesterday even my hands my fingers my knuckles the tips of my fingers everything was hurting because it would we've had like freezing fog but it's been so damp and then it's mild and then we have cold freezing fog and then it's mild. So my poor body's going, what do you want from me, Dory? <laughs> you know, it's like, what's your problem, Dory? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've been struggling a bit. I'm having a day in bed today because I am aching all over. Um, I went and saw my lovely, lovely friend last night so we had a really good chat about life love and children um and she is very much in the same position that i am currently um which we won't discuss on here because it'll just aggravate the situation but let, let's just say that you know we had a really good time and we completely could empathise with one another as to what's going on currently. Um, she's been where I'm at and I'm at where she's been. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. 
Um, but it won't be for much longer. Let's let's just say that. So um, that's added more stress, and we know that stress doesn't help. But there you go. That's life, isn't it? There's always something going on. Um, Nemo, Nemo, Nemo. He's cool. The hearing team went in yesterday to school to see him, so we'll get a letter, we'll get a report um, to say how he's doing with his hearing in class and things like that. I think he's doing okay. He struggles still when it's really loud. He struggles to sort of hear the teacher. Um, And she's been off poorly all week. And apparently she came in yesterday and he ran up to her and gave her a massive hug. He's just... He's just... Nemo is just the... Ugh... He's so sweet. He's so sweet. And he can't fib. He's rubbish at fibbing. Oh, bless him. I said to him the other day, he had a friend here, I said, please don't go on the trampoline. I want, I want, you know, Dad to clean it off from first and get all the rubbish off it and make it a bit cleaner. So anyway, they went on it anyway. And then when his friend, when his friend had gone, he went... <gasps> I'm so sorry, Mummy, but we went on the trampoline and I was like, it's okay. So the only reason I didn't want you to go on it is because I thought it was like, you know, a mound of leaves and just wet. So I didn't think you'd be able to go on it. It's not that I didn't want you to go on it for not wanting's sake. I wasn't being mean. I was just trying to make it a bit nicer for you. So... But yeah, as soon as his friend had gone, blah, 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 it all came out. I was like, oh, babe. <laughs> so, he's so sweet. Um, and he's still with his girlfriend. She gave him a kiss on the top of his head yesterday. I was like, oh, what was that for? And he went, just because of me, Mum. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. He's so sweet. I just love this age. He's 10. So, God, I can't believe he's going to big school this year. He's not ready. He's too small. No. <laughs> no, I'm going to hold him back, like, forever, till he's a bit bigger, like, taller. He was saying to me, um, I'm bigger than all reception children, I'm bigger than all the year ones, and all the year twos, but not the year threes. And he's in year six. Bless his heart, which is the last year for those in the US. It's the last year of the what you would call your first school. So then now he's going to what you call your middle school, which is maybe I don't know. You'll have to let me know if you're in the states. Let me know how it works down here, school wise. Does it is it like what age do they go to the next school? Because he's 10 at the minute, so then it's finished. That's the end of primary school over here. And now he's going to secondary school and he'll be there till he's at least 16. And he could be there till he's 18 if he stays on for an extra two years. And then he could go to university if he wanted to, till he's, I don't know, 21, 22, depending on what he does, what he wants to do. So he wants to be a chef at the moment. Still, which is good, still wants to be a chef, but you know, change his mind when he gets to, you know, do GCSEs and he has to do food tech every week. <laughs> yeah, God, it costs a small fortune, but anyway, it's all fun, isn't it, for them? So, let me know how you are, are down here. I'm trying to think if I've got anything. Else. Oh, Flo has got a car, so she's now mobile, zipping around. So we're not seeing her because she doesn't live here. She lives up in, um, well, no, that's not wrong. She stays up with uni while she's in uni. And then she obviously lives here. She's registered here and everything. So, but we've not actually seen her in the car or physically seen the car, seen a picture. So, just a little coarser, and that's all she needs is just something to zip round in, you know? Nothing, nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. So, well, there you go. What else? I'm at the doctor's again at the end of next week. Can you believe it's nearly February? 
oh my gosh, where did January go? It's like, no, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, it's 20, 25th today, I can't believe it, it's crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm back at the doctor's on the 31st for my mental health. And he's going to see how I'm getting on with my new tablets. To be fair, I haven't felt any different in terms of side effects or anything like that. Um, and I don't feel any worse. So that must be a good thing. So we'll see what he says. He'll probably say, Dory, your brain is as adult as the rest of you. <laughs> and I'll be like, what brain? Oh yeah, I've got a brain, yeah. Shocking, honestly. I am writing things down all the time because I just forget everything. It's <laughs> Mr. Tory said he just brought breakfast in, bless him. Made me breakfast in bed and he said, Oh, thank you for forwarding that message last night. And I was like, What message? <laughs> and I wasn't drunk. I wasn't drunk. We didn't have enough to be drunk. So, but no. Oh, it was a good night. It was, it's just nice to go and be able to talk to somebody who can completely empathise with what you're going through yourself. So, no, it was good. So, <clears throat> I've told her it needs to be a more regular thing and not just about our, our troubles and woes. It needs to be about let's, let's have a laugh and, you know, have some fun times now that it's, it's into the new year. Because I, you know, New Year, New Start, all that. So there's lots of things that I am changing about me this year. Um, so, yeah, that was one of them. So I shall bid you farewell, my loves. I hope you're all right. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new, would you please consider hitting that like button and also that subscribe button. Um, because then you won't miss a thing and you won't have to go finding Dory around the internet because I'll be right here waiting for you. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here and thank you for being you. Remember, just keep swimming and there is adventure out there for you too. Okay? Cool. Bye guys. Take care.